What's the challenge and Charles? Joe's PH Games here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Black Let's Play. In the last episode, we made it right here to Nacreen City, and we took on Team Plasma as well. Let's have a look at the team, because it's been a few days, so let's have a look at the team and see where we are at this point in time. So first off, we have Samuel, level 16, with Tackle, Tail Whip, Water Gun, and Water Sport. We have Yorkshire, level 17, with Leah, Tackle, Odor Sleuth, and Bite. And he evolved in the last episode, so he's nice and powerful. Hoodier now with Intimidate. So that's even better. And we have Fire Monkey as well. Gluttony for the ability. Of course, he's level 10 because of the fact is he's just a cut slave and we don't really need him to be around here anymore. But anyway, he knows the moves. Scratch, Cut, Lick, and Incinerate. Okay, so that is the team. And I think I might try and see... What's uh, what's further up here? Maybe, just maybe, I might be able to find a third, another team member to our team because actually I'm decided what I'm, I want our team to be. Now here is a nurse. She'll heal you as long as you fight, as long as you beat her, and then every time you fight, every time you talk to her, she'll heal your team up again. So you know, make sure to beat up as many nurses as you can because that will allow you to think That will allow you to get free heals. Okay, so Puddov. Nah, I don't really want a Puddov. If anything, I know what I want, but it's like, it's really rare in this route if I'm going to get another team member here. Because I, I know, like, Sock and Throw are in this, uh, this particular area of the game, and I kind of... Oh! There's a Sock! Actually, that's kind of useful, because I actually wanted a Sock, so, you know what? I'm going to tackle you, because I want this. I actually really want to use a sock. I've never used a sock before. It's one of those Gen 5 fighting type. It's one of those fighting types I've never actually used, so. I will definitely take the opportunity to get a sock if I can get this. I don't like the fact that you just use Bide. But I'm gonna try and get this. Come on, go Pokeball. Come on, sock. You wanna come with us? Really? I'm going to get destroyed, aren't I? I'm going to get destroyed by this sock, all because I hit it. Oh, I didn't get destroyed that much. But I'm fine. I can handle that. Can I tackle you one last time? Yeah, I know you're focusing is you're going to try and get all the crits in the world. I'm not going to... I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to try and tackle you one last time. Okay. I I think that's all the damage I can do to you. I don't know if anyone can do a status condition, so... Can I get you, please, Sock? Please, come on, come with us. You know, it would be amazing. You'll be out your fun on this journey. Come on, come with us. Don't think we have to use a heal ball on you. I mean, I don't even know if that actually gives you a greater chance of catching or not. There we go. Yo, and we caught the sock. All right. Sock, the karate Pokemon. The sound of sock brushing boulders and trees can be heard all the way from the mountains where they are, where they train. Okay. I don't really know what to call you, except for maybe this. The little fit. So I need to go lowercase, because I like to be phonetic and use the right cases, so I'm going There we go. We have new socks. So let's have a look at new socks. That's what I'm going to call them. I like to call them, like... I like to call them weird names like that. So we have new socks here. It's a hasty nature. That's okay. Can't remember what Hasty does, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Hasty up speed but lowers defense, okay? Yeah, and it knows, it knows Rock Smash, Leer, Bide, and Focus Energy. Okay. And it has Sturdy V ability. Not a bad Pokemon. New Socks, welcome to the team. I'm going to have to grind you up off screen and see if I can like get you ready for the gym because you're going to be a pretty good Pokemon. Well, 
I don't think I'm going to be putting you in against this gym, but I'll be putting you in against the next one for sure. I mean, I know you're super effective against this gym, but you're like level 12 now, so I kind of don't want to deal with you right now. I'll deal with you later. Okay, so Cockney, uh, can I? No, no, I can't do that. I think I need to switch. That's what I need to do. I need to switch here. Because I can't deal with a Cockney. Well, I think Yorkshire can. And I would like Samuel to level up, so that way Samuel can evolve. And the reason why I didn't do any grinding at the end of the last episode was because Samuel can evolve at level 17, and I wanted him to evolve. So, on screen, so I can... So we can see the nice evolution, the nice powerful evolution that is Samuel's evolution. So we can have a do once on screen, but like, I wanted to evolve. But then again, also, the fact is, uh, I couldn't have held off on the evolution until we were recording again. But, the problem with that is, at level 16, no, level 17, sorry, Samuel learns Razor Shell, which is one of his most powerful moves. It's like power 75, and it's a physical water type move, so I kind of want that as well. So, here we get into the places where experience is hard to come by, because you barely get any experience from facing trainers, which is one of the things that make Pokemon Black and White one of the hardest games in the world. You barely get any experience from doing these trainer battles. Okay, so we beat that trainer. Can I please get out of the grass so I can go and heal? I suppose I could face a nurse and then I uh, wouldn't have to heal. Then I could have a, like, a free healing space and go and grind for a bit. But I should be fine. I need to make it back to the Pokemon Center. I believe if you talk to this girl here, she'll give you the TM for... Yeah, she gives you the TM for Rock Smash. TM 94. Not even bad. To tell you the truth, you could go for the entire game and not notice she's there. and like, You just try and... F you go for the entire game, wouldn't know you needed Rock Smash, and there it is, Rock Smash. That's why Rock Smash is one of those TMs and HMs you don't actually notice you need until like the very last bit of this game. Of these games where you just one ran you talk to one random NPC and you've got Rock Smash, and you don't notice you need it at all. It's just very weird. Okay, so we're all nicely healed up. Okay, so maybe we can go face. Maybe we can go up here and go and start taking on the gym. Oh, it's N. Hey, N. I want to see things that no one can see. The ideals of Pokemon, Pokeballs, the truths of how trainers should be, and a future where Pokemon become perfect. Perfect. Do you feel the same? Yes. That's so. I think my friends should test that. You can see that if, if you got what it takes to see that future too. Okay, so we're gonna face N. This is our second fight against N. So, what's he got for us this time? Because remember, he's going to have a completely new team every time you face him. Because, well, he released... Apparently, from what I've heard, he releases his Pokemon after every battle. So, you know, you're going to have a new team every single time. So, we got Puddle here. Level 13, not bad. I can handle that. Because I'm actually quite a bit over-leveled <laughs> at this point. But now against a gym leader, level... I think the gym leader's highest at level 20, so I'm going to have a little bit of trouble, especially if if I remember what this gym is. Because if I remember this gym very carefully, she has a Watchhog, and this Watchhog decides to use uh, Hypnosis quite a bit, and then use Retaliate as well. So I don't want to deal with that, but I'm going to have to deal with that. Okay, so you're going to learn Razor Shell now, but I want to learn that. Okay, so you learned Razor Shell, that's cool. You got a Tempo coming in, I'm going to switch to Yorkshire now. Because uh, Puddle did a lot of damage to me. I don't know why Puddle did so much damage, but it was a very powerful Pokemon. We're going to get the Intimidate off, and I'm going to go for the Tackle. It's Stab, it's Power. See, it loads of damage. 
Super Sonic, come on, seriously? Come on, Yorkshire, you know what to do. You know not to hit yourself, right, Yorkshire? There we go. Not bad, Yorkshire. Am I going to have to switch? Or... I think it would be okay against this Timbo, but I'm a little worried. This Timbo's a fighting type, and if you know any fighting type moves, I'm going to be a bit... I'm going to be annoyed. You know fighting type moves? You know fighting type moves. Okay, I'm a little annoyed. Come on, Yorkshire. Oh, Yorkshire, you're going to end up killing yourself, aren't you? Come on, Yorkshire, you can do this. Destroy this Pokemon. Come on, snap out of confusion. Yes! Oh, I did about half. Down. And Yorkshire's dead. Really? It had to crit. Thank God this is not a Nuzlocke. Because I'd be annoyed that we just lost Yorkshire for a lot of this. We said this wasn't a regular LP from the very start, so I'm fine. Razor Shell. Oh, that does quite a bit of damage. This is the first time I've actually seen animation for a bit, so that's a pretty cool tip. Okay, so the Timber is down. And ends defeated. Okay, cool. And what? Samuel's evolving! Yay! And Samuel evolves into do what? Do what? So much power. That's really cool. Right now, my friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe I can solve the equality that may change this world. So I need power. Enough power to make anyone agree with me. I know what power I need. Zekron! The legendary Pokemon, along with the hero that created the Unova region. It's my turn to become that hero. And you and I will become friends. Okay. You can't just make someone your friend, you know. And it takes year it takes ages of work to make friends, you know. It took me ages to make the friends I have made on YouTube. They didn't like become friends immediately. It took work. But I'm pretty sure that N just wants to go and throw a Pokeball. Uh, uh, Zekron to make it his friend. I'm gonna heal. And I think we can go and take on the gym. But before we take on the gym, let's go and have a look at Samuel. Because now he's leveled up. Let's see his stats. Okay, so his stats are a bit different. His uh, attack's quite. His special attack's quite high now. Okay, so he's going to be a good special attacker, which means he'd be better with Surf than Waterfall. I need to remember that when we get to those places where we need Surf. So I will need to remember to teach him Surf. It's one of the important things I need to remember to do, because with that in mind, I'll know when to do it. But some Pokemon respond better to Surf, and some Pokemon respond better to Waterfall, because, you know, Waterfall's physical and Surf special. Wow, whenever I look at this skeleton, I'm fascinated! Oh, hello! I'm Halls, the, the, the assistant director here! Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of this museum! No, I kind of don't want the tour museum. Visit the skeleton of a powerful dragon-type Pokemon. The theory is that it had an accident whilst flying around the world. So it became a fossil! Okay. This rock is amazing! It's a meteorite! It contains some kind of weird energy from space! It's what you need to use the axis! And this is just some ordinary old stone! It was found near here in the desert! But other than that, it's just really old. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't seem to have any value at all. We will only display it because it looks rather pretty to look at. It's rather pretty, isn't it? The po 
Pokemon Gym is just beyond here. At the end of the gym, a very strong, kind trainer, gym leader is waiting. By the way, the gym leader, Lenora, happens to be my wife. Stop bragging, mate. Stop bragging. There's no need for you to brag about the fact that the gym leader happens to be your wife. Hey, y'all. A Pokemon gym where the leader waits for the challenger at the back of the museum. It creates a great atmosphere, doesn't it? So, I will give this to you. Okay, so we got a fresh water. Thanks, Clyde. All trainers here use normal type Pokemon. Just between you and me, normal type Pokemon are weak against fighting type Pokemon. Around here, fighting type Pokemon show up in a pinwheel forest. Now I will explain the about the gym itself. The gym is based on a library. In this Pokemon gym, you'll need to answer hidden questions in books. You can use those to move forward. For your information, the first book is Nice to Meet You, Pokemon. If you don't know the answer, please ask someone around. Okay. So basically, there are certain answers hidden inside the bookshelves of this library. And you have to read to find out what the questions are. That's literally the whole gym. And I have itchy hair. Again. I really need to do something about that. Okay, so this guy's gonna have a pat rat. So that probably means spoilers. Our first question is something to do with a pat rat. I'm gonna go for the razor shell. Okay, that did pretty nice damage. Crunch. I don't like the fact that you, you, you use that to lower my defense. I'm gonna go for the water gun. Okay, so Pat Red is down. Not bad. And, uh, that's almost a level up there for uh, Samuel. Okay, so let's take a look at this bookshelf. The bookshelf is labelled Children's Books. Nice to meet you, Pokemon is... Do you want to read this book? Yes, I want to read this book. It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He was with a small brown Pokemon. There's a memo between the pages. Pokemon trainers, my name is Nora. I have hidden four little memos in this library. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the writ can you solve the questions for me? Come and come and find me. Now here's our first question. Question What was the first Pokemon you met in this gym? Hint. The answer is on the hint the bookshelf on the middle row. Now go and find it. Okay. So if we look at this bookshelf right here, this should be uh, our answer. This bookshelf is for Pokemon. The biology of a pat rat. Do you want to read this book? Yes, I want to read this book. It describes the biology of pat rats. They communicate with each other by movement of their tails. Pat rat, our pat rat raises its tail when it sees an enemy. Okay. There is a memo on the back cover. As I thought, that question was very easy. Oh, here's my second question. Fire burns inside its body and gives off smoke from its head while it runs. What is this book? The hint is someone might be reading it. Okay, so that would describe a train. A steam train, if you will, and this scientist here is reading it. Hmm, I see. Did you find some memo and come back here to look at this book? What did the memo say? Fire burns inside its body, giving off smoke from its head whilst it runs. I'm reading a book called The Structure of the Locomotive. Is this book the correct answer? Yes. Oh, that is correct. Fire burns inside its body, giving off smoke from its head whilst it runs. 
It's exactly how the locomotive, uh, locomotive looks. Well, I'll let you read this book. Before that, we should have a match. Okay. We will have a match and then I will read the book. But, like, I could have read the book whilst having the match, you know? It's not that hard to read a book and beat your ass at the same time. Anyway... So, we got a Herdier here, level 17. I'm gonna go for the Water Gun straight away. That should do a lot of damage. X Defend! Well, it's a good thing I'm hitting you with a special attack then, isn't it? Wow, that did nothing. I'm just gonna have to spam Water Gun, because the fact is it's doing nothing right now. And Tackle does a lot of damage over the crit. And you're somehow now faster than me. Okay, fine. I will switch out. I'm going to have to go and heal. I thought I wouldn't have to go and heal until I was about to face the Nora, but now I'm going to have to heal. Okay, you need to be lowered attack. And you still do a lot of damage. Stop critting me. Come on, Yorkshire. My god, this hoodie is going to be annoying. And it's still faster than me. Well, it's a speed tie, but come on, Yorkshire. Do this. Really? Actually, wait, it probably is faster than me. Damn! Yorkshire's down. Okay, so it's all going to come down to Samuel here. Or not, I'm going to have to use socks. I don't want to use new socks, because he's not leveled up. Okay, so... We, evolved, we leveled up to level 18 there, not bad. Samuel gained almost another level there too. Return a book to its shelf after you read it. This is the rule when you read a book. Yes, it's the rule when you're in a library and you're not going to rent the book out. This book is for ge this bookshelf is for general studies. The study of a, the structure of a locomotive is the book. Do you want to read this book? Yes. It's about it's a book about of locomotives. Fire burns inside its body, giving off smoke from its head whilst it runs by using steam power. There was a memo on the back cover. It's impressive you found this place. That's what I'd expect from a train from a challenger like you. Well, this is my third question. If you heat it up in a pot, it will be delicious. What is this? The hint is, it is close to the entrance from here. Okay, so it's on this shelf here, but I need to go and heal. So I'm going to go and do that before we go and take on this gym any further. Don't worry, we can still go on to take up. We can just continue on where we left off. So we won't have to worry about doing the puzzle again. Because it's not that kind of puzzle, because that kind of puzzle would be annoying. But I need to go and heal. I don't think we'll be taking on the gym leader in this episode. I think we'll be doing it in the next episode because I still need to go and grind. So I think what I'll do is I'll face all the gym trainers and then I'll go and grind because, well, I only need to face one more gym trainer. And then after that, we'll take on the gym leader. Because I want to be about level 20 with everyone and I want to make sure some new socks is ready to join the party. I'm not going to use Tep. I'm not going to use our semi seer don't worry, it's just going to be you. I mean, actually, I could put that in the PC. I might put that in the PC at the end of this episode. Because, you know, don't really need it anymore. It's just a cut slave, and like, the, the only actual bush you need to cut is in the dream yard. That's the only bush you need to cut. Every other bush is optionable. The only, that's the only bush. This bookshelf is for children's books. Sweets for Pokemon. Do you want to read this book? Yes, I do. It describes delicious sweets made by heating berries in a pot. They're called poppins, made from berries in, in the far away Sinnoh region. Pokemon love them. There's a note on the cover. Did you manage to get here without being tricked by that question? Now here's my last question. From this bookshelf, move two backwards, move one left, move two forwards, then move one right, and move one backwards. Now where is it? The hint is, 
You'll find it by yourself. Okay, so we're not going to find it. But basically, what they're asking you to do is go to the one bookshelf you yeah, I haven't been to yet, and that's this bookshelf right here with this little girl. I'm wondering where the last memo would be. He... Okay, I'll give you this last question. Can you challenge the gym leader if you win against me? Probably. I don't know for sure, but I'll beat you anyway. Teehee, the answer is correct. Well, here you go, trainer. Okay. So this is going to be our last part of this episode, then I'm going to go and grind for a bit, and then everything will be fine. So we're going to face the door in the next episode. So you're going to have a lily pup to start off with, level 15. Okay, I think Samuel can take down a lily pup. I'm a little bit worried about Samuel, because he's not pulling his weight at this moment in time since evolving. But then again, Herdias are quite defensive Pokemon. They're also quite powerful Pokemon to deal with, because they're like the Rattata of this generation. So, I kind of see where he's coming from. These early stages, you know, Leap Up, Herdio, and stuff like that, they're really hard to beat. Okay, so... Samuel almost leveled up there, but he did do pretty nicely and beat that Herdia, so... Let's let's take down another Leap Up here. So, he beat one Leap Up. She's got... I think she's got, like, three Leap Ups, actually. So, let's go for that nice and powerful tackle. Wish I had a tree spot now. Does that do so much more damage if I had choice band to do that? If... Anyway. Nice. Not bad. Well done, Yorkshire. Can you level up? Nice. You do level up. Means I don't have to do my scrolls grinding with you. I know there's enough random battles about the place for me to be fine to do enough grinding for everyone. So I'll be fine. And we'll tackle you. And we're almost done here. Okay, so I'm going to go grind in a minute, because that's the end of this lily pup, and we can unlock the gym leader. Cool. You'll meet the gym leader very soon. This is the last book. Now read the last book. Okay, I'll read the last book. This bookshelf is for Pokemon. The biology of a Tepig. Do you want to read this book? Yes. It describes the biology of a Tepig. Fire burns inside its body, and it gives off a flame from its nostrils. Well, it's when it's not well, it can give off only smoke. Okay. There's a memo between the pages. You've managed to get here. Well done. You seem to have, have you seem to have wisdom and strength. I look forward to our battle, Jim Leader and Nora. Click. There is a switch under the book. And as if by magic, the bookshelf is able to move by itself and reveals a hidden staircase. Wow, a hidden staircase. That's pretty cool. But we're going to sort that out in the next episode. Because the fact is I need to go and heal and we've almost been about half an hour. And that's usually how long I keep, like to keep these episodes. So... In today's episode, we faced N and we unlocked a gym. Plus, we got a brand new team member in New Socks. Off screen, I am going to go and level him up so he can join, so he can be an official team member, and we're also going to get everyone else up to level 20. And I'm going to put uh, Semi Seer away because I don't need him anymore. Because, you know, it's the only cut bush you need. It's Cut is the only HM you actually need. It's like every other HM is optionable in this game, if I remember correctly. But now I've cut that one bush that I needed him for, I don't need him anymore. So, bye bye, Semi Seer. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this episode. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Joe's PH Games, and I will see you again. Good night.